Hello there, my name is Doug Hells. I've been doing commercial art for nearly 20 years, from storyboards and comic book art to concept art and t-shirt designs. I was the author of Manga Studio for Dummies and have created tutorials and various materials for the program over the years. The folks at Graphicsly asked if I could create a new set of tutorials to cover the most recent version of Clip Studio Paint. And this is what I've come up with, the Clip Studio Paint Classroom. The classroom is broken down into five parts. Clip Studio Paint 101 is your introduction to the program and is intended for those that are brand new to the program or to digital arting in general. We'll go through how to create a comic book page from beginning to end. And in the process, I'll teach how to use the essential tools and functions to get a good understanding of how the program works. Clip Studio Paint 102 covers the options and features that are exclusive to Clip Studio Paint EX users. This includes how to create and edit a story, how to convert a photo or finished piece of art into line art and screen tones, and how to export your work in bulk as either a series of pages or as an ebook. Clip Studio Paint 103 takes us further into what you can do in the program, including adjusting colors, installing additional materials, working with 3D models, and creating art using vector layers. Clip Studio Paint 104 will teach you how to customize the program to your liking by adjusting the look of your workspace, setting up keyboard shortcuts, adjusting Clip Studio Paint's preferences, and creating auto actions. And finally, Clip Studio Paint 105 will teach you how to create your first animation in the program. From creating the canvas, to sketching out and finalizing the look of the animation, to exporting the finished product. By the end of this class, my hope is that you will have all of the knowledge that you need to create some amazing artwork in Clip Studio Paint. So, without further ado, class is in session.